Hi, it's Linda Jane Green again, here to spend a little bit of time with you. I finally finished the, uh, the book, The Birth of a Brand by Brian Smith. I had taken some time away when I was building out my uh, website and then um, I just kind of put it down and I didn't actually ever finish it and I also stopped uploading different informations about it. He got into how his uh, business was changing hands and changing owners and stocks and who owned how much percent of the building and then manufacturers and people who were copying and cheating and <laughs> coming out with the identical product from the identical manufacturers and um, a lot of politics behind the scenes and a lot of, of different ins and outs of what the company went through. Uh, he did find success with it though, with all of the ins and outs and ups and downs and, and uh, the different politics and who owned what and who was doing what and who had what position in the company and all that. It, um, he was a success and Ugg Brand is still around today uh, even though he retired like in the 1990s um, he retired with a couple of million in his bank account uh, and he and his wife were fine um, and I was thinking about that because you know they're saying that in order for people to retire they have to have a couple of million dollars uh, just to afford uh, a lifestyle of comfort of you know not even being a posh lifestyle uh, I don't have two million um, and I haven't been saving you know like if you start early and start saving you work your nine-to-five job and you um, put money aside for retirement are you gonna make two million uh, by the time you're 65 for me the retirement age is 70 I'm not gonna have two million uh, in savings uh, for retirement they say that you have to downsize your living expenses so that you uh, have more of an income than what your expenses are in order to you know kind of make it and I'm I'm in a camper as it is and renting out my house and and uh, a part owner with my sisters in the uh, my dad's house I'm not gonna make it though which is why I'm doing this um, business on the side and seeing if I can uh, generate a passive income and I was thinking that like I'm 59 when I was growing up and I was in high school I was learning the dictaphone I was learning the key punch you know we didn't have computers um, I was having to let's see I wrote it down like I was doing shorthand you know in the dictaphone we had Atari and rotary phones we didn't have cell phones we didn't have GPS we didn't have Google um, no internet and all of this YouTube and Facebook and stuff I it didn't exist so I'm learning these things late and but I am learning it and I'm thankful for these classes that are teaching me how to do it but I thought some of you that are younger than I am you know if you're in your 30s or 40s you could start now learning how to do the um, the passive income and the the social networking and the marketing online because the only way really to generate a passive income if you don't have rental property is to have some sort of a service or some sort of a benefit for people online where you can uh, have like an automated system set up with drop shipping or PDF downloads or you know some some sort of a product that you can service people with online um, I I was uh, I downloaded like I did the audiobooks from Amazon um, and I've got passive income aggressive retirement that's the title of the next book we've moved forward <laughs> Passive Income Aggressive Retirement and it's by Rachel Richards and I just downloaded it and I'll start listening to it today but that's going to be the next book for us to go through and she's 27 years old you know at the time of writing this book so um, she's already retired she's figured out the passive income and how to generate um, you know ten thousand dollars a month in type of an income where she's she's content and she's figured it out 
you know, not not everybody wants to do the nine to five, uh, paycheck to paycheck, and uh, hoping for retirement benefits or social security or disability insurance. You know, not everybody wants to, to play that game. And it's obvious because of the amount of people who are on Facebook and YouTube uh, generating an income. There is a young man who's a dairy farmer and he's uploading videos every day onto YouTube that is describing what he's doing on the dairy farm. Um, and he's getting, you know, followers and then he can start advertising with YouTube and generating income from uploading his videos. But he's a dairy farmer and he's still working on his farm, but he's figured out how to monetize that outside of the farm. There's another man who's a handyman and he he's uploading his videos of the different uh, clients, uh, that the different things that he's doing for clients, you know, what he's building or what he's fixing and and how he's going about um, running his personal business online and then he's also getting a following so he's able to monetize that on YouTube. I started doing that where I've uploaded the videos that I did for you guys on Facebook. I upload that onto YouTube now and I have like a playlist of the unique entrepreneur journey and then yesterday I, I put in, I learned how to do a banner for YouTube because there's a certain amount of pixels in size that they want the banner to be. And so I went on to uh, snap.com or snapit.com and I was able to do a free upload of banners and, and pictures and things. And I mean, it looks better than the, the picture that had been the banner before and I was able to put my name on there. Um, at the top so I'm starting to learn how to dress out the YouTube channel and that's free um, so I mean I figure why not why not just start I'm gonna be making videos for you and so why not start uploading it onto Facebook and see what hap or I mean YouTube <laughs> and see what happens so I'm on YouTube I'm on Facebook and I have my website and I'm just kind of expanding and growing and uh, getting more of a reach. I don't know how this is going to work out, but I'm happy to go down the journey and, and find out where this road takes me. I learned about hashtags and uh, how to have the tagline going into the video so that it can um, generate an interest or lead people to the video uh, as an organic reach because with YouTube they don't um, charge you to upload videos or upload content. You, it's not like running an ad. Um, on Facebook I am paying for a likes campaign and a, a conversion ad. So I'm just learning different ways of going about doing it and it's because of these classes that I've been taking and uh, there's a learn more button on the the Facebook and then on YouTube I'm putting the URLs in there for the fan page and for the um, the website and for the classes so if y'all wanted to start learning how to generate a passive income online you could take these classes and learn how and I'm thinking you know start now because if you need two million to retire on <laughs> Oh my goodness sakes, I don't, can, is that reality? Yeah, you know, that's just beyond me, the, that whole idea of, like, how much do you need to live on per month? Do you need a thousand, two thousand to be comfortable? Do you need three thousand dollars a month to live on to be comfortable? And where is that coming from? And are you going to be able to stay at your current job and generate three thousand dollars a month and just do do this, you know, year after year after year after year, you know, or do you want to learn how to do a passive income on the side that may uh, generate an income into retirement and maybe even retire early? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's just interesting to me, you know, that this is our reality, this is our life, you know, uh, this almost a state of poverty and people have lost their jobs with the pandemic and our, our lives are just all in an upheaval and so do what you can and learn what you can and build up a skill set that's going to be useful to you 
for years because like if I can do it and I started out with key punch rotary phones you know no caller ID no no Google Maps <laughs> and uh, dictaphones and you know if, if I can learn how to do all these things you guys are way ahead of me uh, because you grew up with the technology so you're way ahead of me and if I can learn this and do this at the slow pace that I'm going you guys could far out outseed what I'm doing in in a shorter amount of time so I, I I hope you do that I hope you you know download the class and start in learning these skills and I hope you have a great day and for my Spanish speaking friends out there um, hola and um, no se habla espanol uh, buenos dias <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I'm thinking of you, but I don't speak your language. Have a great day, and I'll chat with you later, and I'll let you know how that book is. I'll, I'll give you a report on that book. Bye.